I don't, I don't, I'm not a bio student, I don't really know, but I guess it probably has to do with chromosomes and genital organs um, and that kind of stuff. I mean, I think on a biological level, it's pretty simple. If you have a penis, then you're a male, and if you have a vagina, then you're a female, right? Okay, well, gender's decided, I guess, by hormones and like the physical composition of someone else. I think on a biological level, it's chromosomes, right? Whether you're XX or XY, it's your sex. So, I, I think if somebody has a penis, then that person is a man. If somebody has a vagina, that person is a woman. I mean, I was always taught X and Y chromosomes. Oh. Um, the Y chromosome determines if someone is male, and <laughs> different hormones will develop different parts of the body to determine female or male? Um, it would be like chromosomes and having the correct genitals. Um, I think that it's chromosomes that determine um, gender on a biological level if you have XY or XX chromosomes. Um, just an intuition thing based on how people look, their body yes, type. I usually just go off of what I see. By the way they present themselves slash if I think their face looks manly or womanly. Yeah, I guess it I guess it has to do with like physical attributes like jawline and stuff like that and also like in the way they perform it, so like do they have long hair, what kind of clothes they're wearing, stuff like that. I think without seeing a person naked, the only way to determine sex is by you know, your initial perception of them. What they wear, how, how they cut their hair, whether they wear makeup or heels, I think that's your only way of guessing, I guess. Generally, you know, it's pretty easy. Um, you know, if, if they have long hair and feminine features, then they're either a woman or European. I mean whatever they tell me. Um, I feel like they should be able to write women if they so choose. If they are anatomically a man, then they have to write man. I mean, I'm not a lawyer, but whatever they feel comfortable with. If they identify as a woman, they should be able to say that on a legal document. I guess it's like the gender that's determined at birth. Um, yeah, I think they should write that they're a woman if that's what they want to say they are. That's how they identify. Um, sex is what you are biologically and gender is what you self-identify as. I mean, I don't really think there is. Um, if, if you're a female, you're a female. If you're a male, you're a male. You can be more or less feminine as a male or more or less masculine as a female, but generally you just have to go by anatomy, unless you have one of those operations. Sex is biological and um, gender is what you identify as socially. I think sex and gender are the same thing, it's just using a different word. I guess sex is the uh, biological truth of it and gender is like the social performance.